Hello my friends, today I'm showing you how to make this beautiful, unique pyramid pouches. I made tens of these as gifts and I made gifts for my friends to give as gifts. You will love it. You will need, you will need measuring 5 by 10. You can adjust the sizes to the desired size. The taller the piece is, the higher the pouch and the wider, the bigger the pouch. You will need a bigger uh, piece of batting. I will tell you why in a minute. A little bigger than five by 10. You will need a zipper. I'm using a big one from my stash. If you have a smaller one, no problem at all, but just make sure it's more than six inches. And remember that we do not measure the zipper from end to end. We measure the zipper from the puller to the stopper. So put this in mind, please. You will need some clips, some pins, scissors, and rotary cutter, and your regular sewing machine and matching thread. In case you ask me about the fabric, ladies, because every time I receive a question about the fabric, so I'm using this beautiful, beautiful line by Island Batik. It's called Wind and Sand. It's crazy. I mean, it's the crazy beautiful. I, I think I got the whole line. <laughs> you will need some ribbon for the tab, but in this tutorial, I'm using um, a scrap from my zipper. You might also need a, a zipper foot. This is completely optional. A pinking shears, but this is optional because you can finish the sides with a serger or with a zigzag stitch on your machine. And here is the piece, quilted. I use some wavy lines, but still they are straight lines. Now I will trim to size. And here is why I'm using a bigger uh, piece of uh, the batting because when you quilt a piece of fabric, uh, the fabric tends to switch a little bit up and down, right and left. So I'm using a bigger one, a bigger piece of batting. So when I'm finished, I trim it down to size. Pin in place and use straight lines the way you like. You don't have to use a quilting foot or anything just with your regular uh, straight sewing machine with a straight stitch and just go with straight lines the way you feel comfortable. Now we place our zipper with the uh, zipper teeth or the... Um, now we place our zipper with the puller facing down on the right side of the quilted piece. Be careful if your um, zipper is shorter or closer to size, do not place it while the puller or the stopper are too close to the edges. It needs to be a little bit bigger so the fabric lies in the middle of it. There you go, zipper facing down. And then with the right side of the lining fabric, you put it on it. So you sandwich the zipper between two of them. Make sure that all edges line up and start with a pin as if you start with a clip, it will just get in the way of the Press her foot as you sew in. Just start with a pen and you can continue with the clips. First side of the zipper sewn. Now we just flap it and get the zipper this way and pull the fabric back and we just sew close to the zipper 
to pull everything together and give it a nicer look. This way. Sew the edges to the other side of the zipper. So, with your zipper, with your pouch open like this, you bring the lining piece to the edge and the outer piece to the same edge. You make the sandwich again the same way as we did before. And up the edges, clip and sew. And here is how it looks like. Now pull the zipper open so we can flip the whole thing out this way. And again, we'll top stitch near the zipper the same we have done to the other side of the zipper. Now pull it closed again. And now we have two seams to finish. The one at the side of the zipper puller, we'll leave it alone for now. And we will sew the one on the other side. Now it's time to insert your tab, your piece of ribbon, or your uh, fabric tab, or the piece of zipper like I'm using today. This is a four inch piece of zipper scrap. I will fold it with the right side outside and I will insert it between the two right sides of the front fabric, the green one. Pin it in place about half an inch from the zipper, clip all and sew with quarter of an inch seam allowance. Leave about half an inch of the zipper showing to you so it doesn't come out after you sew backstitch at the beginning and the end and here it is and remember we fold the zipper to sew always towards the lining this way not inside you don't fold it you don't fold the zipper ever uh, towards the outer fabric so here you can finish it with a pinking shears or you can zigzag it or you can go to your serger if you have one and just finish it here it is now we finish this now we finish this a regular straight line for this one we will just make it this way and from here you get your pyramid shape now clip before you open your zipper Leave only the zipper space. For the zipper space, place a pin on each side before you open it. Now pull it open halfway. And now sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance, backstitch at the beginning and the end, and you are done. Now you cut. Now you cut. And your beautiful quilted pyramid pouch is done. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for the future tutorials, and share this video with, with your friends, and see you next time.